This film will take you on a journey of perhaps the most remarkable trait you possess. But notice the least. It's an ability which you develop in childhood. And for the rare few who don't, the consequences are enormous. Just because I might want to remember something doesn't make it any more likely that I will remember it. By the time you reach adulthood, it is so fundamental that if it goes wrong, you might just want it wiped away. And in older age, the loss of it can be a painful unravelling in which your very self ebbs away. As life goes by, you little bits fall off. It's your memory. Remembering feels very simple. We just do it. It's like breathing. Just as you don't know how you breathe, you don't know how you remember. As soon as you begin to scrape the surface, the complexities just hit you in the face. But if you don't reflect upon it, and why should you, then it just happens. It's what you do. You remember. Your memory charts every detail of your life. It shapes your identity. Your memory is you. From birth, your brain has a remarkable ability. It interacts with your physical environment and is continually changed by the experiences you have. Consider the, on average, 58 holidays you will have taken, the 1,700 friends and acquaintances you will have made in your lifetime, and the 2,100 books you will have read and the 5,800 films you will have seen. What's stored in your head is far more than a collection of facts and figures, but the experiences which make up your life. It's all down to a seemingly magical process. Simply by making new connections, the cells of your brain not only respond to your environment, they record it. They give you memory. A gentle breeze from Hushabai Mountain softly blows or lullaby bay. The important thing about memory is it lets us have a past, it lets us have a future, it lets us solve problems, it gives us language, I believe. These are the great things that memory does. 